Fa'uzu billahi min ash-shaytani r-rajeem, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Atiullah, Atiur Rasul wa ulul amri minkum. And always a reminder from myself and Abdul Aji, Sadaifu, Miskeen, Zalim, Jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah that uh, inshaAllah Ramadan opening soon and pray that Allah will grant us the immense lights and rahmah of Ramadan and grant us the ability to enter into the state of fasting and to the state of immense lights and blessings that Allah allow us to fast with our ears and with our eyes and with our breath and with our touch and with every sense so that the sense of taste opens its reality and the taste of dunya to drop and the taste of akhirah to increase. InshaAllah the first 10 days of Ramadan are rahmah and alhamdulillah that this path of Gnosticism, this path of realities teaches that that rahmah is the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad and that having that love, understanding that love, the people of the Rood Sharif making salawats and praisings upon Sayyidina Muhammad open that proximity and open the immense rahmah and mercy upon the soul. It's that very proximity to the Muhammadan light that inspires people and grants them a, a himmah and a zeal in which to achieve the satisfaction of Allah And without that light and without that presence the himmah of people drop and the zeal to conquer and to reach higher states of realities drops. Means that the presence of Prophet is the key to success. That when Allah wants to guide a servant, He guides to His love and the secret of His love is contained within the vessel and vehicle and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad means the immensity of that reality that when Allah wants to grant somebody faith, wants to grant somebody himma and strength, not only that Allah inspire them that… As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. Leave your multiple gods, leave your idolatry and come to my oneness. But Allah wants to guide the creation to the one whom embodies that oneness of Allah embodies the realities of Allah embodies the names and attributes of Allah is a reflection of that immense reality. And by Allah putting that love into their heart and the desire in their heart to draw near to the presence of Prophet as a result it's an immense ocean of rahmah that maybe the tongue doesn't have the ability to explain. That when Allah wants to bring the servant near, He inspires them to the love of Prophet And as a result they have this yearning, they have this seeking and desire then they're taught to make their salawats, they're taught to read about the life of Prophet they begin to have a, a, a yearning 
for that presence. And as a result of that yearning and that presence, the light of Prophet begins to shine into their hearts. As a result of that light they begin to have a, a zeal, a himma, a desire in which to move closer to Allah He's giving his inheritance to those whom coming on this way. That's the immensity of what awliyaullah understood that it's not themselves. That when left to themselves and to their own desires and their own light, it's all based on nafs. When one leaves the understanding of oneself, the importance of oneself and Allah begins to direct them to the perfection of this creation that that Muhammadan light every time they make a salawat that light enters into your heart and soul. By means of that light entering inside of you it is the very strength of success. All of these ayat al kareem is a description of Allah showing that there's a, a victory that will come to you, there's an opening that will come to you. The one who himself is the embodiment of victory, the one whom is the embodiment of this beatific light of guidance that Allah inspiring within us is, bring that light into you. And the easiest conveyance to get rid of your light and to bring the light of Prophet is by your durood sharif and your salawat and nabi Every time you make and you busy yourself, any time you feel down, every time you feel your light is not strong enough, you have no himma, every answer that for every sickness there's an answer and every answer contains the light of Prophet So everything is based on the secret of the rule. We say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Sayyidina Muhammad is in reality you're sending yourself out and sending Muhammadun Rasulullah inside. So like when your light goes to visit Prophet my light is worth nothing. Means that what I'm in need it let it leave. But the inhabitant that comes that from paradise of the reality of Prophet that which comes is to keep and to keep that within ourselves, to keep that presence within ourselves. Means that becomes the reality and the, the ma'rifah understanding of tawheed because the fir first level of Islamic law is tawheed. La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah And that must be in everything. So when I rid myself of myself with my durood because I'm asking for myself, go to the presence of Prophet and give your greeting. Well when I go the, the badness will leave and in exchange the goodness and beatific reality and the mercy of Allah which is known as Muhammadun Rasulullah will enter in. And that's why Allah describes in verses of Qur'an that hudan, that is a, a guidance, a source of enlightenment, one whom teaches you what is the Muhammadan light. That as soon as you make durood al sharif and from unimaginable understandings this just but a drop of an ocean. That as soon as you're making Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ali Sayyidina Muhammad wa sallim wa salim means that this immense lights are entering and all the different types of durood al sharif is the immense lights of Prophet entering and ridding ourselves of ourself. Because we don't want the self in the kalimah. What we want to exist in the reality of La ilaha illallah wa Muhammadun Rasulullah 
to our beloved father Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq salam, the father of Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah represents that station. When they went and, and said, what are you going to give to Prophet They were calling for the battle and each companion came with what they wanted to come with. Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq came with his entire existence. And Prophet asked him, what, Ya Abu Bakr, what you left for your family? Who's the family? Ourselves that we inherit from this tariqah. That all whom are listening to this and listening to the guide, guidance of tariqah, find their attraction to Naqshbandiyatul Aliyah, find their love to Sayyidina Muhammad that the gift that was granted to us and what Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq was talking to, because we told you what the companion saw last night when Prophet said, I have those whom love me. I have to understand in this way of marifah that when Prophet talks to these companions they are completely witnessing that reality and he's calling them. Like you imagine that the kutubs enter and they find their guidance and direction and what they're supposed to be doing from Prophet But imagine then holy companions that as soon as Prophet is talking from here or from universes in heaven that every, every word is a command that these are the masters of Ulul Amr that stand at attention for that command. InshaAllah let me show you in a group whom from my nation are my muhibbeen and ashaqeen and that they love me. What the companions and the holy companions saw of that reality at that time? That he looked to their lights and thought they were prophets of Allah The holy companions when they saw the lights what they thought of these lights that they saw? They looked at the lights and said, are these, are these Prophets of Allah Their lights illuminate with such a luminescence, no? But no, what they contained was the love of Prophet That their love shines so much, so powerful, the ayatul Qur'an in which Allah describes them on Yawmul Mashar is that they shine with a light and people will look to their lights as if they're seeing Allah But they can't see Allah The most that the, the heart can see and to witness of realities is Muhammadun Rasulullah The immensities of these lights, the immensities of these blessings. So then imagine when these lights enter into the wujud, into the soul of people. By simply the tasbih and making the the sharif that the light comes, Allah's victorious light begins to enter into the soul of people, fighting and destroying every darkness within them, pushing out the darkness, destroying every badness, destroying every bad character so that to establish God's kingdom on earth. Means the reality of that prayer that they ask, Oh my Lord make your kingdom to come upon this earth as it is in heaven is the salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad That anyone making through the sharif, anyone praising upon the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad is bringing the kingdom of Allah upon their very heart and soul. As a result of that light that enters in within the person, it establishes like a flag the kingdom of Allah upon the soul and the heart of the person. The more they make it, the more they praise upon it, that light begins to enter and dispel and take every zulamat and every, and every darkness away from the servant. Because the truth and falsehood they don't go together. Means the truth of Allah is Nurul Muhammadi The more we can fill ourselves with that light, the more the darkness has to be pushed away. With Durood al-Sharif, with Burd al-Sharif, with Dalal al-Khirat, all of these salawats and, and nasheeds 
are the key to every success, the key to every sickness. You don't… you feel down, make your durood. You feel you have no himma, make your durood. You have no money, make your durood. You have no brain, make lots of durood. Replace your brain with your heart filled with the love of Sayyidina Muhammad You're sick, make durood al-sharif. Ismahu dawas wa dhikruhu shafas. That your name is my medicine and the dhikr of you is my healing because that dhikr is in the ocean of tawheed. Because how you make the salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad is Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. It's Allah always first. And that's the secret that Allah gave to us. That's why Allah is, is not… is telling us to do that because Allah doesn't take us out of tawheed. Allah is teaching us the real tawheed is, don't mention me without Muhammadun Rasulullah or you're from another nation and an other nation, you're not from this nation. Mention me only with the name of Sayyidina Muhammad included because that's our kalimat al-tawheed. This is the, the phrase of oneness, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah is the key that Allah gave to us. So every durood and every salawat is Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa la ali Sayyidina Muhammad. It's Allahumma, it's praising upon Allah in the way that He wants to be praised and by mentioning Sayyidina Muhammad like a key with notches on it. That the key came in, it mentioned Allah's name always first, Allah's Supreme. And as soon as it says, Muhammadun Rasulullah wa ahlihi wa ashabihi enters into everything, opens every difficulty. So there's no need to ask, what I do for this, what I do for that? But you can ask for entertainment purposes but you're not getting it when you ask. So that's why they're asking you to ask mm -hmm, because the, get the system is giving clear to the doctors who are absorbing that person still doesn't get it. Otherwise why are they asking? Your money not coming in, make durood the sharif Your healing is not coming, you're seeing scary things, make durood the sharif Every sickness and difficulty, make durood the sharif upon Sayyidina Muhammad And we're talking about in the thousands, not the ten people that come say, I make ten, my son is Hafiz. For what? Teach your children to make 10,000, 20,000 durood al-sharif, yourself 10,000, 20,000 durood al-sharif so that everything in your life is set with the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah By now we should have gotten the understanding, if you teach your children Qur'an and they don't know anything of Prophet you actually made them the people of Furqan. Where they're going to grow up and be angry and tough on everything because all you taught them and all they memorized was the book of right and wrong. You go to them and say, do you make the root? And they say, what? So it means the, the two elements they don't go without each other. So anyone who wants to read Holy Qur'an must do an excessive amount of Durood al-Sharif and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad Why? So that the light of Muhammadun Rasulullah enters every crevice of their being to push away the shaitan that makes them sick, to push away the shaitan that cuts the rizq, to push away the shaitans that are attacking and giving them waswas. And as a result of the Muhammadan light that enters into them when they read the Furqan mixed with the light of Sayyidina Muhammad now it activates the Holy Qur'an and becomes a nur. From its qaf and the oceans of power 
to the noon and the light in which it sends out to all of creation. And these luminous beings then they become like suns on a dark night, like stars on a dark night. That's why shaitan attacks it, that's why shaitan tells people not to do it, that's why people of the shaitanic teachings they say no need for it because shaitan knows what burns him. If shaitan had no problem with it he wouldn't be talking, he would stay silent on the subject. But anything and anything that these people of shaitanic teachings come against there must be a secret. And since we're in the last days and the dajjal system is firmly on earth and he's walking and about to declare himself and declare his residence where there's already people living. As a result of knowing that then we know our weapon, our power is in the enlightening and opening of Allah's majesty and Allah's rida and satisfaction with durood the sharif and salawat upon Sayyidina Muhammad And so as we enter into Ramadan the success for Ramadan is durood the sharif, they make lots of durood the sharif, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Wa fata rahmah that open up from your oceans of rahmah that that rahmah dress and that I can enter into the gate of mercy, to be dressed by Allah's immense mercies, immense mercies. Whether sick or able, not able, Ya Rabbi just grant the rahmah and the mercy so that that light of Prophet can grant us a, a zeal and a himmah to accomplish what Allah wants us to accomplish. It can only be accomplished with the companionship of the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad And as a result of that companionship then we are the most successful people upon this earth. If we leave that companionship we are the most ridiculed and beaten and humiliated people upon earth where our life is not more than 25 cents for a bullet in the head. Because they left the companionship of Sayyidina Muhammad with the companionship and the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the earth will tremble from the might and majesty and the power of the heavenly kingdom upon this earth. We pray that Allah complete His ni'mat and His blessings and to dress us from this gate of mercy and this gate and love and ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five bands, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.